Yo guys, Dominic here. I hope you're being creative at home and thinking outside the box. Painting was a tool I used to customize some of my first sneakers. Today, Trey will show you how to prep your shoe and bring your vision to life. Yo, what's up guys? My name's Trey. I'm an instructor here at The Shoe Surgeon. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to properly prepare your shoes for paint application. Uh, today I have a Blazer Sakai. Uh, we're gonna go over how to properly mask off everything and uh, prepare the surfaces for paint. This is good for all types of paint application, whether you're airbrushing, using hand paints, using a paint pen. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to prepare this shoe or any of your shoes the same way. So that being said, let's get to it. These are the materials you're going to need. Uh, first things first is a sneaker. We got the Nike Blazer Sakai here. You're going to need masking tape. You're going to need a craft knife. I have the Surgeon Creator Studio paint pens. You're going to need a clean rag or cloth. In this bottle we have acetone. If you don't have acetone, some substitutes are nail polish remover, rubbing alcohol, or even paint thinner, and a heat gun. All right guys, now that you have all the materials you need to prepare this shoe, we're gonna start wiping the surfaces down prepare them for the paint. You're going to want to take the acetone and put some on your rag. You're going to wipe down all surfaces on the shoe that are going to be receiving paint. This is so your paint's going to last longer, it's going to look the best. Once you do that, we can move on to masking. We're going to mask off the area of the shoe that we don't want any paint to touch. And I like to start with the sole because it's the easiest. I want to keep this whole midsole uh, the original color. So I'm going to start by wrapping tape around the, the middle of the sole. You're going to want to leave just a little bit of tape hanging over and then you're going to push it down and roll it over. Now that I have the sole masked off, I'm going to start masking off pieces on the surface and upper of the shoe. And I like to use a lot of tape on this process. I like to make sure the whole area is covered and then I'm going to cut away the excess with the craft knife. Make sure every single edge is covered, push it down flat, then I'm going to use my nail uh, to push down some of the edges to outline the swoosh so I can see where it is. And once I feel it's pressed down enough, I'm going to take the craft knife. I'm lightly going to press just enough to cut the tape. You don't want to press too hard, otherwise you can scratch the actual upper material. Now that I got the whole shoe masked off the way I want, I'm going to go ahead and apply my paint design. I'm doing like a blue camo inspired design. There's a lot of dark grays and off whites on this shoe, so I think it's going to turn out real nice. It's important to note that when you're painting the shoe, you're going to need a few layers of paint to really get those solid colors. So we're going to use the heat gun to speed up some of the dry times. All right guys, I just finished painting these blazers. I'm really happy with the way these turned out. I really hope you can use these techniques on your next customization project. And yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.